Well, hello everybody. It's Paul Lake here, your personal physics pal with another physics problem solved where I take a typical high school or, co or college freshman physics uh, problem and I work it all the way through completion with lots and lots of explanations so that you get a good example of what's going on. So, uh, hey, if you, if, this, if you found this video helpful, please give me a, a, a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and, uh, and spread the word a little bit, you know, to your, your friends in class or whatever because I'd like to build this channel and keep these videos coming. Uh, also, in the comments, if you have a, a, a problem that you would like me to solve and make a video out of it, uh, leave the problem in the uh, uh, in the comments, and I'll try to get to it. All right, so um, here we go. Uh, here's the problem. We have a 550-kilogram car traveling at 24 meters per second. It collides head-on with a 680-kilogram truck. Uh, so both, both vehicles come to a complete stop upon impact. What was the speed of the truck before the collision? Uh, and part B, suppose both vehicles become stuck together upon impact, but continue moving in the direction of the truck that the truck was moving with the speed of four meters per second. Uh, what was the truck's speed uh, before the collision? So, um, so yeah, uh, let's... Uh, now, be before you... You work this, you should be familiar with a, a basic momentum uh, and collisions, conservation of momentum, that sort of thing. That's what this is, involves. So if you haven't had that yet or you're, you're kind of tenuous on it, go back and study it, review it, and then uh, attempt this problem before you watch the rest of this video. So you might want to pause it now, work the problem, unpause it, and check your work. Or you can just watch. You can do what you want. You know, you're the boss. So here we go. So I, I like to use uh, what's called given, find, and solve, where I very carefully write down what's given in the problem. Uh, and when I have a collision problem, I, I like to draw two. Uh, I like to draw a before the collision. Now I'm going to put the truck on the. Uh, here's my truck. You know, and um, and the mass of the truck is 680 kilograms, right? And uh, and we don't know what the velocity of the truck is. So this is the velocity of the truck. That's the initial velocity of the truck. And let me, and here's our car. Car, and we know what the mass of the car is. The mass of the car is 550 kilograms. Okay. And we know that it's moving in this direction with the velocity of the car is equal to um, 24 meters per second. Now, I'm going to say that to the right is positive x and to the left is negative x. That's my my axis system. So this is really, the velocity of this car is really negative because it's moving to the left. Okay, so that's before the collision. And then after the collision, the cars are kind of smooshed together. So I'll redraw the truck. Kind of got its front end squished in and the car, poor little cars here as well. Um, now in part A, uh, these, these guys are sticking together now, and in part A, the velocity, the final velocity of these two is equal to uh, zero, and then part B, the final velocity of this is four meters per second in the direction of the truck. Well, I have the, the truck going in a positive direction, so I'm going to call, call that positive four meters per second. Now, if if you wanted to, if you drew the truck on this side and the car on on the other side, if you know if you switch them, it doesn't really matter. Um, your your answer will be correct. It's just you you really have to identify you know what you're doing, you know which car is going in what direction. But it didn't really specify in in this problem. And by the way, the problems that I pick are I, um, I get from uh, students that I tutor, so I didn't make this problem up. This this problem was. Um, um, provided to me by uh, one of my tutoring students. And if you need a tutor, uh, look in the uh, comments, uh, or not in the comments, in the show notes or whatever they call it, and I've got a way for you to get in touch with me there. 
Um, all right, so that's what's good. Now, what are we trying to find? Well, on part A, all right, we want to know um, what what is the um, what's that initial velocity of the truck uh, if the final velocity down here is equal to zero, and then part B. What's the, the initial velocity of the truck if the final velocity is equal to 4 meters per second? I kind of already put that in, down here, but so, so there you go. And um, really important that you set up problems really carefully. Show what's given. Try to draw a picture of the problem if that's appropriate. If you can visualize and see it and understand you know, what you know, and you very carefully identify what you're trying to find, what you're trying to figure out, it's going to make the problem much easier to solve. So it takes a little bit more work to write all this down, but in the long run, you're going to get the right answer in less time. Okay, so now let's solve it. And let me move this up here now. Okay, so for part A. Now look, when you have a collision, momentum is conserved in the collision. And the reason for that is when they hit each other, they go, Bam, they apply equal and opposite forces, right? That's Newton's third law, right? When they when they collide, they go, you know, bam, they equal and opposite forces for the same amount of time. And force times time is impulse. And, and, and impulse is equal to the change in momentum. So the truck gets its momentum changed, and the car gets its momentum changed. But those changes are equal and opposite. In direction. So if you add up so, so the, 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 those two changes, you get zero change overall for your whole, whole system. That's why we say momentum is conserved during a collision. So, um, and, the, and the way we write that down uh, in the language of physics is we say P initial equals P final. That lowercase p uh, stands for momentum. The initial momentum of my entire system has to equal the final momentum of my entire system. Okay, so now I look at the problem and I say, okay, where is the momentum before the collision? Well, it's in both these vehicles. So, and we know that momentum is mass times velocity. So, so, so the mass of the truck times the initial velocity of the truck plus the mass of the car times the initial uh, uh, velocity of the car, okay? Now, this is gonna be equal to, well, these guys are now stuck together. They, they become stuck together. That was, that was, you know, given in the problem right here. So if they're stuck together, that means the two masses have become essentially one mass. And we find the mass of that just by adding the mass of the truck plus the mass of the car. And they're moving with the same final velocity. They're stuck together. So because they're stuck together, they have the same velocity, right? That makes sense. Now, uh, what are we trying to find? Um, we're trying to find, well, we know what the masses are, right? Uh, I know what the initial velocity of the car was. That's given. This is what I'm trying to find. And we're also given the final velocity. In both A and B, we're, we're given the final velocity. So, um, yeah. So I can just solve for my unknown, which is this. Now, one nice thing about part A is that the final velocity is zero. So this whole term over here goes away because the final velocity is zero. So that's equal to zero. And now I can solve for this. So I'm just going to do that this in one step. The initial moment, uh, initial velocity of the truck is equal. Well, I'm going to subtract this to the other side. This term gets subtracted from both sides, right? So it goes over here. And then I want to get this by itself. So I have to divide by the mass of the truck. Okay. And now I'm ready to plug in my values and solve the problem. Negative. Now, what's the mass of the car? 550 kilograms. And then the initial velocity of the car is negative 
24 meters per second. You've got to include that negative. And then the mass of the truck is uh, 680 kilograms. And when you do the arithmetic here, you get um, a velocity of 19.4, positive 19.4, because it's moving to the, to the right, meters per second. And again, if you switch these, if, if you do the truck over here and the car over here and have them go in the opposite way, you, you'll get the same answer. It'll just be negative 19.4 meters per second, because that means the truck is moving to the left instead of to the right. But it's kind of arbitrary, you know, which one you pick. So don't worry about it. But the fact that this is positive means the, the velocity of the truck is to the right. Well, let's do part B. Now, part B is essentially the same problem, except that the final velocity is equal to 4 meters per second instead of 0. So that means there's a little bit more um, work here. Um, I'll go ahead and say P initial equals P final. And so this is the same, the mass of the truck times the velocity, the initial velocity of the truck plus the mass of the car times the initial velocity of the car is equal to the combined mass. They're still combined. So it's the mass of the truck plus the mass of the car times the final velocity. So now I can solve for this again, because I know, again, I know the masses. I know the final velocity, that's given, and I know the initial velocity of the car, and so this is my only unknown, so I can solve for it. And that's what I'm trying to find. So let's do it in one step. I'm going to write this down. The mass of the truck plus the mass of the car times their final velocity. And then I'm going to subtract this to the other side, right? To, I'm going to subtract first. So that's minus the mass of the car times the initial velocity of the car. And then I now I've got this all by itself, but i got to divide by the mass of the truck. So this is the mass of the truck. Now notice the, the, these two equations, this one over here for part A and this one, are pretty much the same, except remember that in, 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 in this problem, the final velocity was zero, so this whole term went away, and you, you were left with this. So, um, so again, these are very, very similar problems. Now, the mass of the truck, I'm going to have to see that was 680 kilograms plus 550 kilograms times four. And now it's moving in a positive direction, right? It said, it said in, in, in the um, description... Um, moving in the direction the truck was moving with the speed. So, so since I said that was positive, that 4 is positive. So this is 4 meters per second minus the mass of the car, uh, which is 550 kilograms times its initial velocity, which was negative 24 meters per second. And then we're going to divide that by the mass of the truck. And do this carefully with your calculator. Make sure you have a minus, you're, 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 you're subtracting a negative value. So that means you're kind of like you're adding it. So be real careful with that. And when you do the arithmetic, you should get an answer of positive 26.6 meters per second. Okay, so, you know, really, um, you know, kind of, to, what's the big picture here? The big picture is momentum, momentum is conserved during a collision. So you, I always start with P initial for the whole system equals P final for collisions and for um, ex these things called explosions. It's the same kind of idea and uh, momentum is conserved. And then you just kind of, after, after you set this up, there's really no more physics to do. It's just uh, a lot of algebra. So anyway, I, I hope you found this helpful. And uh, if you did, give me, give me a like. I really, I, I'd like to see those thumbs up and make a comment if I made a mistake or, or if you have a, an idea or just make a comment. Uh, I get a kick out of those. And uh, 
So uh, until next time, uh, I'll see you later. And uh, hey, may the net force be with you.